Hey everyone, this is Scott, Entrepreneur in Residence. So you are interested in getting a team potentially. So let's talk about that real quick. So first of all, um, you gotta understand what are you good at? What's your superpower? Why are you doing the thing that you do? And you've spent a lot of time thinking about that and sort of living in that world over the past couple of months. And here's a, a kind of a construct where we recommend how to think about bringing um, team members on. And this, is, this isn't hard in stone or anything like that, but it is a way to think about it. A typical startup team or early stage team, depending on the business, will have someone who's a hacker who's got really good technical chops. Um, they could be a programmer, a builder, or someone who, who's got the technical ability to, to deliver on something. You've got that hustler type, the person who could sell anything, really good at pitching and communicating and so forth. You've got the visionary, the person behind the business. Oftentimes, um, they're the ones that are always dreaming about the future and, and get people excited about it. And then you might have someone who's a designer or a creative. Now you could be all of these things, you know, and especially with starting out, sometimes you have to be all of these things. But if you have the opportunity to bring others on board, this could be a, a great opportunity for you to sort of um, take things that aren't your in your skill set and get some help with them. So there's a, a little activity you can do to understand kind of where you are is, you know, write down for your business, um, you know, what industry are you in and you know, what do you think a hacker looks like in your business? What does a hustler look like? What does a visionary, what does a designer look like? Not every business is the same. So some of these might apply. Some of them are a little bit more of a stretch. And think about where's your biggest gap? Where do you need the most help? And that might be where you go for your first partner or your first hire. And then, um, you know, if you have someone in your in your house or home or, you know, someone that you're working with or whatever, you have a partner you can share and talk about this with, you know, work it through with them and say, hey, do you, is this true? Do you think I have the biggest gap here? And get their feedback on it. And then rate yourself, you know, give yourself a one to five on some of these skills, five being you're an expert and one maybe, you know, you're, you're totally new to it. And where you start seeing kind of those lower numbers, again, those might be some of your first hires. That's something you want to keep in mind when you're hiring for the first time or bringing on a partner is that that fundamentally changes the relationship that you're going to have with them. So you have to be really careful about some of those first employees and those first hires because it's a lot of effort to bring them on. It's also a lot of effort, time, and potentially money if it's not working out to, to get them out of your, your business and your world. Um, and it can be challenging, and I've gone through that myself. So spend time hiring them. Don't hire hasty. Don't hire um, just because they seem good on the surface. Spend time interviewing them. Um, if when it's possible, you know, spend some time with them. If you can trial with them, have a trial period. I suggest that, but make sure they know they're on a trial period and that there's no guaranteed of employment um, or partnership afterwards. And, and set very specific goals with them. If you're going to trial them, make sure they're measurable, put a time box around them. Hey, we're going to trial you for X number of weeks or months. Make sure they're realistic so you're not setting them up for fail and that you all agree to what these things are. And it's sort of in writing and getting things in writing is really important. So this is a challenging um, step. It can be really helpful. It can be wonderful when it works out, but it can also be um, challenging if it doesn't work out. So be careful, but um, good luck and see you on the next video.